Uh, l- let me go ahead and start. You know, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, wait, are, are the people there? They wanted to record something. I'm not sure if they. Uh, uh, good. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Dr. Mayor Eisenstein, and I'm honored to be here uh, this afternoon to give you a little bit of insight, some of the data from our clinic, and our um, work with uh, uh, metabolic syndrome and uh, 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 HCG. Uh, the um, maybe the most important thing I can tell you is that I have I have to give every bit of thanks to every one of you in A4M because when I first started coming to A4M I weighed about 350 pounds and now I weigh about 220 pounds and it's clearly everything I've learned here um, and especially the uh, HCG uh, part of the program. And let me just mention once again that this is a short version of the program. Uh, The longer version is available. Uh, I can send you a copy of it. One of my staff members will be here if you give them your contact information. This is a picture of me in August 2007 with my wife Karen at our youngest daughter's wedding. Um, We collectively weighed um, uh, well over 500 pounds, maybe 550 pounds, and more than 200 pounds lighter. my wife is still as gorgeous as she ever was, you know, but uh, just uh, a smaller shell. Uh, Dr. Mark Mandel, our, we partner with a compounding pharmacist, uh, and Mark is also one of the very inspirational people. He's at the booth if anyone wants to sit and talk with him, you know, um, but he's also done phenomenally well, as has Michael Chesner, a cardiologist. just want to show you a couple of pictures of some of the success that we've had. Uh, we've had over a thousand patients now uh, who've been involved with our program. But t- t- this afternoon, I really want to talk about some of the the scientific uh, data. We all know that obesity is a worldwide epidemic. It's beginning worse and worse, you know. And this is a picture, a snapshot from 1991 to 2002, with the red being the worst. And as you look, what's happening here just a few years later, uh, it's getting more and more darker colors, and this is most probably even a small caption. If you ask my opinion, uh, I think all the data that the Center for Disease Control puts out is wrong. Or when they say that um, 30% of of people are, have a BMI of more than 30, I think uh, they've done, well, how, here's the way you lie with statistics. You take three people and you have two of them who are under 30 and then you say one out of every three. Uh, the, the FTC put an end to this uh, with commercial advertising. Uh, um, one out of every two cigarette smokers smoked luck, lucky strikes, stripes. That was when it was on the air. Well, they surveyed two people and one, uh, one uh, was using it. Uh, trends in obesity in this country, I don't think, you can go anywhere, you, you, you know, uh, I, I think right now 70% of the country is obese and about 85% is overweight. If you add in, uh, I think less than 10% of the country has a BMI of, of less than uh, 25. All we have to do is go back to Thomas Jefferson. If people let government decide what foods they eat and what medicines they take, their bodies will soon be in a sorry state as are the souls of those who live under tyranny. Government has never been able to correct any problems. Government is there to protect us from terrorists, you know, but it's not meant to be involved in our health care. I don't care if you're Republicans, Democrats, Independent. My goal is to get government out of health care. You know, it's interesting. I'm also an attorney. And uh, unfortunately, most of the laws in this country are made by attorneys. And um, one of the problems is they, in a sense, um, as an attorney, I can tell you it's all about money. <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 it's who gets what. and uh, uh, About medicine, it's never about that. I, I know virtually every doctor that I've met in my whole life. I may not agree with what they do, but if you say, well, can you do something if you know it was wrong? They would almost always say no. Ask the same to an attorney, see what they tell you. Metabolic syndrome. We all know what metabolic syndrome is, but I think what I want to focus on this afternoon is that the American Heart Association states that the dominant underlying risk factors are abdominal obesity and insulin resistance. Not that the other factors aren't important, but these are the two key ones, and these are the two that we're going to talk about today. I want to give you a little mnemonic for uh, metabolic syndrome, and that is 
two ways of knowing if someone has it. I think central obesity defines um, metabolic syndrome. It's virtually doesn't exist. If someone has central obesity, that they don't have some other risk factors associated with it. For men, a waist over 40. For women, a waist under 35. That's a very generous uh, statement. Don't even look at the other stuff. Let's just look at that for a second. Or I'm going to give you one more to look at, and that is your waist should be half of your height. So if you're six feet tall, you should have a waist that is 36 inches or less. If you're uh, 5'4", Oh, God, let me try that now, uh, 60. Uh, your waist should be 31 inches. So it's just kind of a, a litmus test for what you should do. One other thing that fascinated me to no end was the work by Dr. Sarah uh, Priest, and uh, it was written up a couple of years ago in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology. She looked at neck, uh, size of the neck, as an independent risk factor uh, for metabolic syndrome and cardiovascular disease. And what I find interesting about that is um, we have had 100 patients, 200 patients, whose neck size has shrunk significantly, including myself. I was a 22, now I'm a 16. My problem is my waist is still bigger relatively to my neck, and so my shirts don't fit in the neck, but I have to get them bigger just to get around my waist. Um, virtually every one of them who's had sleep apnea, virtually every one of them who's had um, um, uh, any type of snoring, gone. You know, 